Russian Defense Ministry claimed that Ukraine had launched an attack against Sevastopol, a city in Russian-occupied Crimea, with five US-made long-range Adams missiles. Four missiles were allegedly shot down by Russian air defense, while the warhead of the fifth one exploded above the city, the Russian Defense Ministry claimed. Mikhail Razvoziev, the head of the Russian occupation government of Sevastopol, claimed that five people were killed, and almost 100 were injured in the attack. Later, the Russian security forces announced that the Adikms missiles had been launched from the city of Nikolaev, Ukraine, and announced that measures had been taken to destroy the firing point. The Ukrainian side announced that the Panzer S-1 missile used by Russia to launch the missile exploded on the beach area. Ukrainian military analyst Alexander Kovalenko said Panzer S was not designed to fight such targets. According to him, the missiles fired by Ukraine did not have cassettes, but the missile that Russia wanted to shoot at them was loaded with cassettes. The Russian Ministry of Defense declared that the United States was responsible for the strike. The ministry claims that all flight missions for Adikm's operational tactical missiles are entered by American experts based on the U.S.'s own satellite intelligence. Earlier, Russian telegram channels posted photos and videos of the alleged attack, reporting that many people were injured on the beach of Uchkwevka, a village in the northern part of Sevastopol. Ukraine's military reported on a number of attacks against the peninsula in recent weeks, allegedly scoring successful hits against Russian S-300 and S-400 air defense systems. Ukrainian forces reportedly destroyed two radars of S-300 and S-400 air defense systems near the Belbek military airfield and Sevastopol overnight on June 12. On June 10, Kiev also claimed a successful hit against S-400 and S-300 anti-aircraft missile systems in several areas in occupied Crimea.